Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I'm not camera ready today, so I've decided to turn the camera off, but I thought it would be fun to show you behind the scenes of my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, I was quite active as a small creator in 2017 and 2018, and then I kind of started to get busy in 2019. In 2020, I made a grand total of six public videos, and now we're in 2021, and so far I've made four public videos in the last couple of weeks, and I'd really like to do more but um, I'm not going to commit to a particular schedule at the moment we'll just see how it goes. I wanted to have a look behind the scenes in the YouTube Creator Studio to kind of show you what my channel looks like at the moment, what the numbers look like and what it looks like when I came back to YouTube as opposed to when I was away. Right now I'd really like to know down below what you thought my analytics looked like when I was away from YouTube. How many views did you think I got? How many watch hours? I'd be really interested to hear what you think down below. Um, and we can see how it compares to the reality. So I hope you enjoy. For those of you who don't know, YouTube Creator Studio is where creators basically manage their uploads. And firstly, we can see our content which is all of the videos that we've uploaded. When we first upload a video, this is the area we go to and inside each of these we can change it's just loading. Um, we can change the title, the description, and then further down here I can put in things like is this video made for kids? Is there any age restriction that should be on these videos? This is important if there's going to be sponsorships and things like that. And also if it's going to go onto the YouTube Kids platform, because on the YouTube Kids platform it's a very different type of audience and if your content isn't meant for kids then you really shouldn't be putting it as made for kids. Um, going down a little bit further, I can declare whether or not it's a paid promotion, um, if I've received any kind of sponsorship, any kind of freebies from the company in order to make the content of this video. And then coming down here we have the tags, which is something that creators fill in to give YouTube an idea of what the video is about. And that helps people when they look in the search engine to find your content. When I was a creator um, back in kind of 2017, 2018, I got a lifetime membership to TubeBuddy. So even though I'm not a very active creator at the moment, I still have access to the tools and it's still something that I look at and take into consideration when I'm making my videos. So here it's suggesting other tags that I might want to add to the video. Things like Taylor Swift Folklore would be a good one to add although I've already got 493 characters in here, so I'd take it if I were to add that. I would go over the limit and I'd have to delete something, so I'll maybe come back to that at some point and see which tags I could maybe remove. Going down a little bit further, I can say which language the video is in and which language the um, title and description are in. I need to change these at some point. It must be in my... Um, my, my settings when I first upload because it always puts the video language as English and then the title and description as though as I'm in the UK. They are technically the same language but sometimes there's some spelling differences that might be a little bit confusing to viewers. I don't really bother with the recording date and location so much. Um, sometimes I maybe would, for example, if I were going to a public event like a Taylor Swift concert, I would maybe put in for example Manchester or London and the date of the recording so that if anybody's looking for a particular Taylor Swift content and for content based around the show that they went to they'll maybe find me from that. That's pretty much an overview of this area. It's basically a place where you can see all of your uploads and manage them independently and there's also the option to look at your videos from different views for example I can see which videos are the most popular so at the moment it's I was a school prefect that video refuses to die and then the second one is making a costume for Taylor Swift tour um, so yes like it's it's sometimes interesting to come into this area and see how videos are performing see if any of them are going really really well um, that I didn't expect to do well. Certainly when I first saw I was a school prefect in this area I was very surprised um, but it's, it's been a while. Um, it's kind of interesting to me that that's still my most popular video even though it's been five years later. Five years later this one refuses to die. Anyways let's go into um, analytics. That's the, probably the most interesting area. That's kind of the area I wanted to show you today. So this is the area where I can kind of see how my videos are performing. The thing that I find most interesting on the day-to-day -day is the real-time area. So I can see the live count of my subscribers 
Um, funnily enough, it's not been going down while I've not been uploading. Like, sometimes somebody drops off, but there have also been people subscribing while I've been away. So it's been interesting to see how this number hasn't really changed dramatically. I had about 1,200 subscribers or so when I stopped uploading regularly. And now it's at 1476. And if I want, I can see a live count. This is more interesting if you're a big channel because um, it maybe changes, you know, by the second or so, but not so much for mine. It pretty much just stays the same. Um, this is a straight line because ultimately these are like gaps of 500 between each line, so it doesn't really move very much. Um, this area here where it seems to think I have zero, that's ultimately because um, it takes a while for the YouTube systems to update. I am still up here at 1476. Moving away from the live count and scrolling down, I can see what people have been watching recently. So in the last 48 hours, I've had 143 views and these are the top videos. I expected this video to be at the top because that's a video I've just very recently put out. Um, I was a school prefect, that's always a favourite on the channel. And then the Landmark Forest Adventure Park. When you go onto Google and search Landmark, I'm one of the first video res results um, and also one of the first that isn't from the company themselves. So it's maybe people just checking out a review from real people of what this park is like, um, what you can kind of see and everything like that and really just researching their trip before they go. If I go into see more, I can see everything that people have been watching on my channel in the last 48 hours. This area might be a little bit more frantic if you're a large creator, but as a small creator, um, it's a little bit more chill. I can see what everybody's been watching. This is what people have been watching in the last hour, and this is what people have been watching in the last 48 hours. So, for example, on the Taylor Swift alternative artwork video here, which I've just recently put up, there's um, a big cluster of views here because that's when it was first uploaded and the kind of silent area before that is because the video wasn't public yet. Um, going down a little bit, I can see that people have been watching the landmark video today. Um, in the last couple of hours, both my views have been from people looking at that video. Um, this is also all of my views in the last 60 minutes, and these are all of my views in the last 48 hours. In this middle area, YouTube is telling me how many views I've had in the last 28 days. It kind of highlights a, um, a good thing about the channel, or sometimes something that I may want to change. So it's telling me at the moment that I'm doing really well. And in a usual time where I'm uploading regularly, that would maybe be a sign that my video that I've put out recently is really popular and people want to see similar content. So on here I can see that I have 1.7k views rounded up there and that's 279 more than I typically get. Um, the watch time hours are also up at the moment there, that's 16.7 more than usual and I have one new subscriber. As I said, um, it's kind of been going up and down while I've not been uploading. Surprisingly, I've kind of stayed quite consistent with the numbers of subscribers I've had. Sometimes they've even went up, which is really surprising to me. Um, and today I seem to have one subscriber, which is still 50% less than what I usually get, which says to me usually I get two new subscribers a month. On this graph, it's showing me how many views I got each day. And then these little icons here are showing when I uploaded a video and I can also see which video I uploaded. So if there was a sudden spike here, if there was a sudden drop here, and it seemed to be related to one of these videos, then I'd be able to tell. So let's have a look down at what my top videos have been in the last 28 days. At number one, it's the Landmark Forest Adventure Park video. I actually done two in the park, but this one goes more into the rides and the attractions, whereas the second video goes more into like the nature walks and things. So this is the one that people watch more often than the other. I'm pretty sure this video is popular at the moment because it's the Scottish school holidays and it's soon going to be the rest of the UK school holidays. And people are researching where they can take their kids for a fun family day out. So if I go onto this, I'm fairly certain that I'm going to find that most of my audience is people who aren't subscribed. And that's really because they're just looking to research the park. They're not really here for me. Um, I highly doubt that many people are watching this video and thinking, oh, hey, I'll stick around for her personality. See what she thinks about Taylor Swift CDs. So coming down here, I can see that most of my watch time from this video is from people who aren't subscribed. It's 98.2% and subscribed is 1.8%. 
Um, let me see more of moments here. I don't know why it wants me to see more. Um, okay, lovely. So, so yes, it's ever so slightly a tiny amount of subscribers, but most of these views are from people who don't know who I am. They haven't really followed my channel, which is absolutely fine. When I go into the overview, what I'm looking for at the moment here is the top traffic sources. So this shows how people have found the video. Um, I can see most people have found it from the YouTube search. Um, external, that's maybe going to be, um, for example, a Google search. Um, and suggested videos of the YouTube features, etc. Um, not really got many views from that, especially not direct or unknown. Direct or unknown would be if I sent the link to somebody and said, oh, you might enjoy this video. And I know that I haven't done that recently. I can also see in this real time area a little bit more about the people who are watching this video in the last hour. So I can see that in the last hour, the people who have been watching me found me from the YouTube search. As a small creator, I'm able to more easily match up these different things. So I can see as well where there's this little spike on Monday from seven o'clock to eight o'clock. That was from a YouTube search. Um, etc etc. This would be more difficult for larger creators to be able to tell because there'd be a lot more views. There's lots more interesting statistics in this area such as if it's been a YouTube search that people have found me from I can see exactly what they searched in order to find this video. I can also see which videos were suggested and whether or not they clicked on them and I can also see what external traffic sources they have used. So as you can see on this video the Google search one is by far the most popular one that people have found me from. But I'm not going to spend too much time looking at that today. Let's go back to the front page. Coming down further in the list, I can see how my recent uploads are doing. So I can see that um, the one that I released about Graham Stephan is at number six. And the one that I released about folklore alternative artwork is at number 10. These are videos that I've made within the last week. So that's a good way to kind of identify which ones are being watched compared to the rest of the channel. And this is compared to all the other videos on my channel. If one of these did really badly and one of my old videos was doing really well, there isn't even a guarantee that it would be in this top 10 list, but ideally all of these videos would be, and I can see that all of my four uploads this month have made it into my top 10, which is really, really good. I won't bore you with all the details of everything that you can see in the Creator Studio today, but um, some of the things that I can look at are my comments, my subtitles, my copyright, and let me just have a quick look at how my monetization is going before we end this video today. So um, in terms of being monetized on YouTube, you need to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 public watch hours in a year. So if you haven't told me already down below, I'd like your guess on how many public watch hours I've had in the last 12 months on my channel. Pause the video, have a quick think about it. How many public watch hours do you think I got when I uploaded six videos last year and I've uploaded four videos so far this year? Did you do it? Great. Okay, I can't wait to reply to your comments and thank you so, so much for that. Okay, so as with most of the statistics in the YouTube analytics, these are 48 hours behind. And just as a little bit of a guideline, I'm recording this on Wednesday the 14th of July. And these are my figures for Monday the 12th of July. So on Monday the 12th of July, I had 594 public watch hours on my channel from the last year and I had 1,470 subscribers. My subscriber count is always above the monetization goals, but I'm really, really, really struggling with these 4,000 public watch hours. There are ways to kind of boost it up a bit and I'll maybe look into them later into the future. But my goal right now is I'd love this to be at 600 public watch hours by the time we reach August. So we'll see how I do. All I can really do is keep uploading, hopefully make interesting, engaging videos. And if any of you want to help me, even just staying a couple of extra minutes on the video, watching the whole thing, or maybe watching another video that all really really helps me so um, yeah my goal for August is to get this up to 600 
and we'll see how I do. I think it's going to be possible because I wasn't uploading very much last year, but I think it's still going to be a really big stretch to get to 4,000 public watch hours and be monetized by the end of the year. Um, I would have to put out a really, really engaging, really funny, really shared video. So we'll see how it goes. YouTube is very unpredictable, so you never know. Maybe I'll be monetized in the next couple of weeks. Who knows? It's really, really difficult to tell. That's everything that I wanted to cover today in the YouTube studio. There are so, so many features in here, so many things that I could possibly talk about. And this video is the first one of its kind on the channel. So I just wanted to see what people think. Do you find this interesting? Do you want to hear more? If you want to hear more, what would you like to hear specifically about? I'd love to hear all of that down below. Um, give me some suggestions. Do you want to know about my audience? Do you want to know about how I do captioning? Do you want to know about how I pick music? I can do all of that and more i'd love to hear your suggestions love to hear what you're curious about and i can certainly do similar videos like this in the future if you'd be interested in seeing them thanks again for watching everybody by watching this video if we do another one in the next 28 days you will be a part of these analytics is that something you want to see do let me know down below in the comments along with any other thoughts that you have and if you haven't already please make sure to like and subscribe because it really really helps me out and thank you so so much for watching everybody. Cheerio!